frankly, my mom taught me that it was vital. It was so important to actually step up and, uh, and do something if you, if you can make a difference. It wasn't enough just to care about your community, about uh, what's going on around you, but you actually have to take action. You can't wait for somebody else to do it. So the opportunity was, was there, and uh, I had the background, the experience, the knowledge of the community, and felt I had to step up. We have a legislature where, uh, even though we have enough Democrats to push things through without any Republican votes, votes we work very hard on consensus. I've reported, I've, uh, I've nominated and, and appointed Republicans to be chair of uh, some of our committees, uh, if they're the right person. And we've been able to, to really create a record of, uh, a good record of economic development as a result. In order to get our message out, I think we need at least $2 million. Well, we're looking at all sorts of uh, opportunities when, when we've had a number of uh, offers. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is going to campaign with us, uh, Congresswoman Louise, Louise Slaughter. Congresswoman Donna Edwards has already been up to the district, so we'll look at um, you know, any kind of opportunities that we get. Well, I've been a, a stay-at-home mom. I've been a working mom. Uh, it's, the challenges are difficult for, uh, for women uh, in many cases who often have uh, the majority of, response of the, the home care responsibilities, child care responsibilities. I can win this district. I can win this seat because I can appeal to women who've been hungry to be represented by somebody who looks like them, who knows uh, what their issues are. Uh, I've been uh, supported by business leaders as well as labor leaders uh, because of my record of creating jobs and working across party lines. Uh, I've been supported by um, people of, of all different political stripes because I, I know how to listen and, and know how to try to create consensus. And I think people are looking for that. Instead of Instead of a Congress, instead of a congressperson who is determined to have their way, you know, no matter what, uh, Congressman Reed pretends he's a moderate when he comes up to the district, and in Washington he votes Tea Party line all the way and uh, is really carrying out that sort of extremist ideology in Washington. Well, we are uh, developing, we're uh, working to hire a a cybersecurity firm to take a serious look at that, to investigate everything that happened.